I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong Competition Rules, also known as MCR. If you want to learn how to play this version, there are links below the video that can help. There are 81 scoring elements, so you got to study and practice if you want to do well. I've heard that many players stack scoring elements, little scoring elements, to get them to that eight point minimum for a quick win. But then there are others who push for big hands. With these random pulls, I want to try to either identify big hands or see ways that I can stack those smaller scoring elements. If you have a set at home, give it a try and let me know if it helps you. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round starting with East. We'll just say we're the dealer for each exercise and deal 14 random tiles. For this set of tiles, I think I would either try outside hand, which is number 55, and that's a four fawn hand. We would need to throw away this and this. The rest we could use, potentially. Here's a seven, eight, nine chow. So this nine is what allows that to be used. A one, two, three, the one can be used. Terminals or winds and dragons can be used in an outside hand. We could pung here, for example. So if we played outside hand, we would have three discards. The other opportunity here is, involves the knitted category. There are three different elements that you could use there. Number 20 is greater honors and knitted tiles. The knitted tiles are 147, 258, and then 369, each set in mixed suits. So, for example, here's a 6-9, then we have 1-4-7, here's 4-7, and then here we have a 2 for a 2 five, eight potential. We would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 discards. Now, the... The, that would be a knitted straight, but there's also lesser honors in knitted tiles. This would be number 34. Both of those, the knitted straight and the lesser honors in knitted tiles, are 12 fawn. The, this would allow us to use these honors. If we were to get the south, the red and the white dragon, we could even play greater honors in knitted tiles, number 20, and that's 24 points. So I think what I would do is discard the five dot and the one bam to start and see, actually this, yeah, the four we'd need for knitted. I think I would start by discarding this five and just take it pick by pick. Keep in mind outside hand or knitted tiles. If you would do something differently here, Write that in the comment section, random pull one, and what you would do differently. We're going to do south round now. We have a flower. It always seems like we keep getting these mixed suits. Look at this, three, three, three of each suit. With all these honors, I would consider knitted tiles so that we could use these mixed suit and the honors. So to best use the tiles, we need one, four, seven, then two, five, eight, then three, six, nine. Two, five, eight. So there's one good one, three, six, nine, one, four, seven. 
Yeah, I think what I would do, I think I would keep N E, okay. I think I would keep lesser honors and knitted tiles in mind, number 34. That's a 12 fawn hand. And then see if we can draw in the knitted tiles. I think that's what I would try to do here. One, each suit has to be represented. One, four, seven. So I would keep the two. Here's a two, five. We need a one, four, seven. So let's see, actually not that one. One, four, seven. And then here we need a three, six, nine. But we could do either cracks or BAMs with the 147 or 369. So I think what I would probably do is discard these back here first and try for lesser honors and knitted tiles. And that's really because of mixed suits and honors. If you would do something differently for random pull two, let me know. Now we're going to do west round. Three flower, four flower, I think for this set of tiles, I would try for all pung. We have two flowers, so that's two fawn. We have a pair of our seat wind, so that's another two, that's four. And then all pung, I believe, is four fawn. All pung is number 49. That's actually six fawn, so that would meet the minimum. We have one, two, three blocks. So we would need to pair up for sure, but we have a pair of our seat wind and another pair that we could pung right away. So I would just try to pair up and pung. I think I would probably try to discard these first, maybe even this, and if we draw in dots, I might even sacrifice the three and switch to half flush with our seat wind. A half flush is number 50, and that's also six fawn. So if you would do something differently here, write random pull three in the comment section and what you would do differently. North round. For this set of tiles, I do see some mixed triple chow capability right here, all these sevens, eights, and nines. So for mixed triple chow, number 41, that's eight fawn. The other thing that we could focus on is just gathering upper tiles, number 25, sevens, eights, and nines. There's another that you could look at in the same thread. Number 36, upper four, tile six through nine. That's a lot to work with, I think. I think also to get some score, if we're in the east seat and it's north round, I probably would discard the south first and hold those, maybe pair up and pung. So I think what I would do is discard these four first. The one, two, three, five, hold the eight crack, try for mixed triple chow or upper tiles or upper four. If you would do something differently, write random pull four and what you would do differently. When you get your drawn hand and you have equal numbers of tiles in each suit, 
and maybe even a couple of honors. Look at the knitted category and see if you can make those tiles work. If those don't work, think about the upper tiles, middle tiles, and lower tiles, or first four and upper four. Is it lower four and upper four? Try all those, especially if you have the mixed suits. It might look like garbage, but there's some score in there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong Competition Rules, also known as MCR, may all your picks be keepers.